today we're going to uh, create a third layer to our map. We're going to call it Geographic Features. So we're going to go ahead, add layer, click on Untitled Layer, call it Geographic Features, and we will click Save. And there we have it. Now, for good measure, we're going to uncheck landmarks and countries so that we won't accidentally put anything into these layers. We only want stuff going into geographic features. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop a pin right here uh, in uh, Brighton Beach in uh, the Bluffton area. So we're going to do a search, and there it is, Brighton Beach, South Carolina. Click on it drops the pin there. We're going to add to our map. And of course, we're going to get a nice little picture. Brighton Beach, South Carolina. All right, let's try this one. This pretty much looks like a good picture of Brighton Beach. Uh, you got to remember, some of these are not necessarily the Brighton Beach that we want. So we're going to click Select, like so, and then we're going to Save, making sure it's in the right layer, and it is. So we're going to exit out there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a line tool, and we're going to trace the course of the May River. So to do that, we're going to go up here to these little buttons underneath our search bar, and we're going to the one with the uh, little dots and line connecting them. And when you hover over, it says draw a line. So we click on that. Then we want to add line or shape. So we're going to do that. And so we pick, we're going to start right about here. And then we click on it. We get a little dot, and as we move out, you see a line coming out. Now, as we are moving along, we just go and add dots to basically give us the shape we want of the river. Remember, it doesn't have to be exact. And we go out like that. Now we can go and continue on, but we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back onto this last button. And notice how we go from a plus sign to a pointer. And so we're going to click and on this uh, dot or button. And that gives us our little box. And of course, we're going to call this May River, and we're going to save it. Now, what we want to do is we're going to change the color. We want it to uh, have blue because it's a river, water, so that whenever, wherever we see that. So we're going to go with Style, and we're going to pick a blue. If I can get one here, and there we go. And then I'm going to adjust the line width. We're going to make it a little broad so that way when we kind of zoom out, we'll be able to see um, the May River and the way we have it. And then we're going to click X. And there we have it. And of course, we want our nice picture. Okay, searching up. May River. Uh, let's try this one with the shrimp boat. Daddy's Girl at Oyster Factory Park. An old Oyster Factory. So we're going to select that. There it is. And we're going to click Save. And we're done with that one. All right. So we've got our May River, uh, Brighton Beach. So we got uh, one more place we want to highlight. And that's Pinckney Island uh, National Wildlife Refuge, which is an island. And so we're going to draw basically a circle 
around here and then you're going to see what happens when you do that so we're going back to our line tool we're going to click um, draw a line add line or shape then we're going to start out here and again going from point to point now remember again doesn't have to be exact Continuing to kind of draw all this line around the area. Up to here and then back to our starting point. Now look here. This time I got the, the plus sign, but then when I go back to our original dot, and connect the line our pointer comes back and we're going to click on that dot there notice it's saying instead of line it's saying polygon a polygon is kind of a, um, a type of uh, shape so we're going to get rid of that and of course we're going to call this pinkney island uh, we're going to save it and we're going to give it a color all right so it's a land feature so let's give it a nice green like so and of course we've got transparency and border width I'm not going to worry about that we are going to change the transparency here all right so we're going to kind of darken it a bit with our green so it kind of stands out and then we'll click the, the X uh, out and that uh, gives us that. Of course, we got to do our picture. So we search up Pinkney Island or Google image search. Uh, let's go with this one. there it is and we're going to click save and there we have it so in our geographic layers we've used the pen uh, tool to locate brighton beach we use the line tool to trace the course okay so pen tool to highlight brighton beach we've used the line tool to trace the course of the may river and then using the line tool we create a shape around Pinckney Island uh, to let us see all these places all right so you'll be using uh, the same tools as you're doing the geographic features of various uh, places around the world uh, as you create uh, maps of each continent